San Pedro, Belize. We landed in Belize City and then took a small plane over to San Pedro Island. You can also take a ferry over there, but we chose to do a flight. And I got to fly co-pilot. We stayed at Alaya Resort and they had us little welcome drinks whenever we arrived. After three flights, we were super excited about the cold rags they welcomed us with. This is the pool that is available to all of the guests. It has restaurants surrounding it and a couple bars as well. We had an ocean view, one bedroom vista. We had two bathrooms and three balconies that you could walk onto. water was provided to us every day throughout our stay. There are several grocery stores on the strip where you can stop and do a little bit of shopping so you can cook if you want. They do have a spa that is currently being renovated. This is the rooftop adults only area. After checking in, we had lunch at the Blue Hole restaurant. The adults only pool also had a bar and a sushi restaurant. To the left, you will see the resort swim up bar. The views were amazing from sunup to sundown. The Purple Pelican restaurant was amazing. We did make reservations to eat here. Do rent a golf cart while you are here. We rented one directly from the resort and one um, tank of gas lasted us for our entire stay. This is Estel's Dine by the Sea. They are known for their famous fry jacks. We stopped by Ramon's Village and had drinks. They also have a restaurant, but just an absolute beautiful view. This is Palapa's Bar and Grill. They have live entertainment in the evenings and this is one of our buddies that we met. Did you say that I'm waiting all night? The Lord's dancing in the 
We had lobster and shrimp tacos here. We drove a little further on the island to Playa de Sola and had drinks. This place is super cool. There is a rooftop area here as well and they serve dinner. Toast is another little area you must check out. Also, just a little tip, don't forget the bug spray. However, the majority of the bars that we went to did have bug spray on hand. We stopped at the truck stop on our way to Secret Beach. I didn't get a lot of pictures here, but there are several restaurants and little areas that you can get ice cream and chill. It takes about 35 to 45 minutes to get to Secret Beach from the resort we were staying at. And you can get there by golf cart. Trust me, it is worth it. There are restaurants and bars throughout the area on Secret Beach. Marbucks Coffee House is another cool stop. You can have breakfast here, mimosas, and coffee. Cool Beans was one of our favorite breakfast stops. They have the absolute best avocado toast. The Hidden Treasure Restaurant, um, it is exactly that. So, so good. Lobster was amazing. The Hungry Grouper is another must. It is downtown, kind of in the middle of town. Um, just a small place and had amazing food. We will return. This is my friend Mel. She is one of the locals there at San Pedro. Message me and I will get you her info. She gave me the best massage of my life. Vito's and Black Pearl Restaurant was another stop. Angler's Restaurant Bar. Oh my gosh, so good. This is where we stayed 15 years ago. Just a throwback. We had the best time in San Pedro, please, and we cannot wait to return. Until next time.